So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Office on the iPad Pro running iPadOS 15 Beta 1. So I know a lot of people on the YouTube side with the iPad, they focus on the power of the iPad from a creative standpoint, right? Being able to export videos, export picture files, be able to upload YouTube videos, things like that. But a lot of my channel, especially the popular videos, are more focused around the business professional and being able to use applications and services like Microsoft on the iPad Pro instead of using it on your laptop and using the iPad as your laptop replacement. So today, we're gonna to be going over the main Microsoft Suite applications. We're gonna be going over Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, and just to see how well they work, if there's any bugs or issues with iPadOS 15. Because if you're thinking about using your iPad Pro and putting iPadOS, a beta on there, and you use it for work and you use the Microsoft Suite, and I wanted to shed some light and let you guys know whether or not it's worth it to upgrade to iPadOS 15 and use the Microsoft Suite. So without further ado, let's figure out exactly what's going on. So here we are everybody, this is the home screen and we're, today like I said, we're gonna be talking about the four main Microsoft applications for the Microsoft Suite on iPadOS 15 Beta 1. So we're gonna be talking about Microsoft Office, which is the main hub. Then you have Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now again, I'm not gonna dive super in depth, especially on Microsoft Excel, because I know a lot of you guys have questions on pivot tables and other databases, and basically a couple things that are a little bit above what I know when it comes to Excel. So I'm definitely gonna do more research on that and then give you guys a dedicated video on Excel that, to hopefully help out a little bit more from the Excel side on the iPad Pro. But without further ado, let's first prove that we're actually on iPadOS 15. So if I go into the about, you can see my software version is 15.0 and we are on 19A5261W. So if you guys watch my beta reviews, you guys know that we always talk about the beta version and W means that we're probably gonna see anywhere from five to 10 betas before we get the final release version in September. So now that you guys know we're on iPadOS 15, if the home screen wasn't enough to prove it to you, here's the app library, but we are on iPadOS 15. So now the first thing I wanna do is just open up these applications, see how quickly they open and how quickly they load. Now I've gotten rid of them, so there's nothing in my multitasking right now, but let's open up Microsoft Office. So pretty quickly, pretty instantaneous, Microsoft Word, also instant, Excel, very instant, and then PowerPoint. Again, these all, all these apps open pretty much instantly, especially on the M1 chip, but I'm sure you guys will get the same experience on even the iPad Pro Gen 3, with the A12X as long as you're on iPad OS 15. So now before actually walking through each app individually, what I wanna do is actually talk about how they function within iPad OS, right? So for instance, let's open up Microsoft Office and let's see if we can get some multitasking done, right? So I'm gonna go through the new version of multitask. So I'm not gonna pull up the dock like I normally would and then try to multitask. We're gonna go up here to the three dots. So we'll click on the three dots, we'll move this one over and we'll try to multitask with Word. So press got it. So you can see that we can multitask with Word, no problem. We can move it over. Let's click on a blank document. You can still write on it even though it's tiny. Let's move it back over, say hello. So you can clearly see that it's working. So now that we know that the Word works, now let's get out of here and let's try out the other applications, see if they have multitasking capabilities. So let's move Office to the right. Let's open up an Excel document. Let's open up one of these templates and you can see that it's working. No big deal. You can zoom through, you can see that I'm here. You can even grab the pencil, I believe, and maybe write down, yep, you can see that the pencil's working. We'll undo that, which is beautiful. So these apps seem to be working with the new multitasking. And finally, let's try Microsoft PowerPoint. So here's Microsoft PowerPoint. It works in multitasking in that split view. So you can see that it is working. We'll open up one of these templates and it's working nicely. You can move everything around and then have all your actions over here with the Microsoft Office application. So now let's actually move the Microsoft Office app and move it into slide over. And then you can see that Microsoft PowerPoint takes up the entire screen. And then you just have this one in slide over view, which is nice. And you can just move it out of the way if need be. So there you see that we can multitask with all the applications. So now that we see that we can multitask with the applications, what I wanna try now is multitasking with the same instance of that application. So for instance, if I open up a Word document, right, it says hello, nice and dandy. Let's open it into split view and see if we can open up another Word file. So it looks like we can open up another Word file. Let's open up a template, see if we can copy with Control C, paste, and everything is right there. And you can zoom in and out with the trackpad, that's what I'm using right now, to fit to screen and things like that. So you can have these side by side, which is a beautiful thing to see. And then let's say if I wanna open up another Word document, 
So if I want to open up another Word document, click on here, let's see if the app shelf shows up. So now you can see that the app shelf is showing up. So you can open up new windows and you can see that they're all down here and you can organize them based on what you need exactly. And again, have multiple instances of Microsoft Word open, no problem. So we'll quit out of that. And if I go to the multitasking, you can see we have four different Microsoft Word open and we're gonna delete them. And you can see that even on the split view, only one of them gets deleted before the other one. So that's beautiful. Now let's try that with Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's open up Excel, grab this guy, move it over to the right. Can we have another Excel open? Yes, we can. And then Microsoft PowerPoint, move this one over to the right. We can have another Microsoft PowerPoint. And then finally, let's go into Microsoft Office again and see if this one gives us multiple instances. So unfortunately, Microsoft Office, the hub, you can see right there that multiple windows are not supported, which is something that I did kind of remember from iPadOS 14 and that not working in that situation. But again, that doesn't really matter because Microsoft Office is just the hub itself for you to kind of handle your files and transfer things and open up files. But then with Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, you can have multiple instances of that. Okay, so now that we've handled all the function in terms of how it physically works on iPadOS 15, so far you guys can see that there aren't many hiccups, right? From a you know physics standpoint, for lack of a better term, everything works pretty well. So now what I wanna do is open up a Word document and we're gonna just go over all the UI and see if all the things have been adopted correctly, right? Like for instance, cursor support, does that work? It looks like it does. So we do have cursor support, which is nice to see. So it does hover over text and allows you to, again, it does that cool like physics thing where it kind of just attracts to whatever you need to click on. And if I press on home, you can see that now this also takes over as a text editor. So you can highlight, do whatever you need to do, delete that, say, don't forget to sub to the channel. And that's awesome. And then again, shortcuts should work. So if I hold down my command key, you can see that we do have a bunch of new shortcuts within Microsoft Word. And by all means, if you guys wanna to try to memorize all these, that's what's cool about holding down the command key. So if you have a magic keyboard and you hold down your command key, it'll prop open all the shortcuts that can be possibly used with the keyboard. And you can see that there's a ton and there seem to be some new ones also. So we're gonna check that on all of them. But here we go overall, like we said, we have the insert option. So you can insert whatever you need, a text box. You can insert any shape that you would like, maybe a circle move it around so you can see it's very intuitive intuitive it feels familiar you know what you're doing with microsoft word especially if you have the magic keyboard and you can use it with the trackpad but then if i open up the pencil you can just start writing and it automatically generates the actual writing which is beautiful to see so i don't have to like go into the draw section to activate the pen and then shortcuts work as well so i can just double tap to erase double tap for you guys to sub to the channel let's see if i can spell today Yes, I can. So that's cool, that's awesome. Microsoft Word seems to be working well. Now to open up Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel, we're probably gonna have the same idea. So the main thing that I wanna do is check out cursor support, make sure that that all works and it seems that it does work. Let's see if Apple Pencil support is there. All you have to do is tap on the screen once and then your writing will undo that. So Apple Pencil seems to be working well and you can even opt in to draw with touch. So I'm using my finger here for that. So that's cool, we'll undo that. And then what I wanted to check is actually to make sure first, let's see the commands. So if I hold down the command key, you can see that we do have a decent amount of commands. And for the most part, I think these are new because when I was playing with Excel on iPad, I was 14, a lot of the keyboard shortcuts did not work. Like when I used to hold shift to try to highlight multiple cells, it wouldn't work. So we're gonna try that right now. So here I am, tapped one, we're holding the shift key down and you can see that it's highlighting all the, the cells that you want highlighted. Before, it would not do that. And then if I wanna copy, control C, so it works just like any other Microsoft Excel document, which is beautiful to see. You can add formulas, talk to data differently, review with comments, and at the end of the day, view, and even you can even export as a PDF, I believe. So you can export as a PDF document as well. So all of the basics, and I would say, you know, basics to above average level of usage for Microsoft is pretty much there. So, and then the last thing I wanna do is check out Microsoft PowerPoint. We'll open that one up, see all the different things that we have, so we can also insert, draw, design, add transitions, animations, review the slideshow, review everything overall, and then you have the slide sorter and the normal view, which is perfect. So Microsoft PowerPoint also works from a basic standpoint. If you just need to create basic Microsoft templates and presentations and things like that, this is gonna be enough for you, even on iPadOS 15, because you can see it's very responsive. There's no issues whatsoever delete the draft, open up another one. You can see how quickly it's moving and how snappy it is. 
I don't know if my 2018 iPad Pro moved this snappily, but overall, I really like it. And again, like I said, you can also export as a PDF, share it with whoever you want to, or save it, search within the document, have some insights which are cool, and then play the presentation from here. So overall, the three main Microsoft Suite products look good, they're functioning well. Like I said, zero issues so far from a bug and performance ish standpoint, especially knowing that I'm on iPadOS 15 on a buggy software that I would not recommend right away to the general public, especially if it's on your main device. But then the last thing we can check out is Microsoft Office. I always like to highlight this new Microsoft Office app. I think it released four or five months ago now at this point. But I love this as a hub because A, you can open up all of your Microsoft documents, whether it is Excel, PowerPoint, whatever the case may be, you can open it directly from here and edit directly from here as well. So I can go in here, say hello, type in some numbers. So from here, I can edit as if I'm in an Excel document, but if I zoom out, you can see that I'm still on Microsoft Office. So if we go back, this is a beautiful thing to have. Then you can go into your new options. So here is just a bunch of cool tools that you would otherwise have to go to like a third party website or go to somewhere else or maybe another application to get it done. So image to text, image to table, sign PDFs, convert PDFs to Word and vice versa. You can scan QR codes from here, scan documents, create forms and then rehearse your PowerPoint presentations with a quote unquote coach, which basically allows you to time out your presentations and practice before an actual presentation takes place. And then here you have access to your OneDrive files. Down here, you just have the rest of the Microsoft Suite. If you wanna download them from here, you can as well. And then finally, we have some questions and then the overall settings as well. So that's awesome. And then if you go down here on the bottom right, if you press create, you now have the option to just create Word files, Excel files, PowerPoint files directly from here, and then eventually open them up in your regular Microsoft Suite. So like I said, overall, if you are already on iPadOS 15, Microsoft is gonna work pretty well, as well as iPadOS 15 is working on your current device. So if you were hesitant about getting Microsoft on iPadOS 15, I don't think you need to be. The bigger hesitation should be around whether or not you should even get to iPadOS 15. Because like I mentioned in my previous video, 90, 95% of the way there, it's definitely a stronger beta one than we've seen in the past. But again, I don't wanna recommend it quite yet for people that use it on their main devices and it's your main work machine especially if it's your main revenue generating machine. That's a little bit tough to recommend, especially on a beta one. But that's my two cents. Let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, for the most part, Microsoft is gonna be running pretty normally, right? It runs pretty smoothly. There isn't any real issues, no bugs, no performance issues. If anything, if you see any sort of issues or resetting or again, bug issues, it's gonna be mostly on the iPad side, not really on the Microsoft side, right? Because it's basically, how well iPadOS is taking in the iPadOS 14, you know, tech or coding. But for the most part, I would say 99% of the time, it works really well. I've only had to reset one application once and it was Microsoft Office, the actual suite application, but the actual Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I've never had to reset. And so far they're working pretty well. And I have been using Microsoft PowerPoint a lot on the go and it's been working well. So overall, if you are on iPadOS 15 and you use Microsoft Office, I recommend putting the Microsoft suite onto iPad Pro. Now again, I still wouldn't recommend that if you use your iPad as your main device and you are on the normal software, I wouldn't recommend going to the beta and then also using Microsoft Office because there's just a lot of room for error and Apple can't promise that the beta is gonna work perfectly throughout the day or especially if you're in the middle of an important meeting, the last thing I want is for iPad OS 15 to like shut down on you. So wait for beta two or beta three to get stable and then after that, then maybe I'll make that recommendation. But overall, it's looking good for September for Microsoft to be working perfectly on iPad OS 15 and who knows, maybe Apple and Microsoft will bring some new Microsoft changes to make it feel even more laptop -y and more familiar to desktop users. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below which Microsoft app you wanna see next. I do plan on doing a Google Suite review on iPadOS 15 as well because now I'm using that a lot more. But overall, it's, there isn't too much to complain from a performance standpoint on iPadOS 15. It's a little bit buggy, but that's expected with the original Beta 1 software being uploaded just a couple days ago. But like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment below that you're a legend if you made it to the end. Check out channel sponsor Paperlike if you guys wanna keep your iPads protected and if you guys got any new iPad gear, Paperlike is the way to go. But until next time, 